Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Cook It. This is Ed and it is Saturday, uh, September 1st, I believe it is, 2022. Fall is here and you can absolutely tell that by how gloomy it is outside today. It's rainy, it's cold, and no, I do not like it. All right, so anyway, we're going to get to what I'm going to make today. As you can see, look back there on that thought bubble. I found that at Goodwill Oh, a couple months back, and I thought, hey, I could use that, write down on that what I'm uh, having uh, or cooking in my video. So, as you can see, chicken and noodles in the crock pot. All right, so I think this is going to be perfect for a day like this since it's so cold and gloomy outside. And I'm also going to do some chicken breast on the pellet grill later on because this uh, dish has to cook for a couple hours. Now, I've modified it a little bit. Um, because the recipe calls for frozen chicken and so it has to cook for like six or seven hours on low. I got a rotisserie chicken and uh, took it off the bone and shredded that up. So that's what I'm going to use. And the only frozen thing uh, for this casserole or this uh, crock pot dinner is that the, the noodles are frozen and that's what you use for the recipe. So I don't think it's going to take six or seven hours for that to cook. Probably a couple hours at the most. But I did start the crock pot out on low and um, we'll see how that turns out I'll let it cook for a couple hours or so and then hopefully it uh, you know will be good all right so what this takes is the chicken of course now the recipe says that you can use frozen chicken breast or fresh I just got the rotisserie chicken because it's already cooked and it's already got the seasonings on it so you don't have to worry about anything like that it takes a stick of butter two cans of cream of uh, chicken soup and two cans of chicken broth. It's pretty basic, so I'm just gonna move everything around here and then put the camera down on the crock pot so you can see what we're gonna do. All right, so let me move the crock pot over here. Move the camera down onto the crock pot. And there it is. Take the lid off, of course. And you're just gonna put the chicken in the bottom of the crock pot. Just like that. And I used one of these crock pot liners because I don't want to clean up the mess later. All right. So then you're going to put the chicken broth in there like that. Let's give that a little stir. And the soup on top of that. Looking good so far. Let's give it a stir so we can get that all incorporated together. All right, that looks pretty good, I think. Okay, now put the butter in there. That's the stick of butter. And then you're gonna take the frozen noodles, pour them on top. This is uh, two 12 ounce bags of the frozen noodles. Just gonna wipe my hands off a little bit. Now, put the lid back on. Oh, hold on just a sec. Let's adjust the crock pot liner a little bit. Looks pretty good. Ow. Hey, the outside of the crock pot gets hot too. All right, so there's that. All right, crock pot, away you go to the side of the countertop. All right. So as I said, I'm gonna let this cook about a couple hours. And then we're going to come back. I'll upload this as part one. And then um, close to the time of uh, these noodles getting done, what I'm going to do is, like I said, I'm going to put some uh, chicken breast on the pellet grill today. And uh, I've got those marinating in some just basic Italian dressing that I got at the store yesterday. 
And I did inject it. I got this new injector from uh, Amazon. And um, it was recommended uh, to me by a friend of mine, Keith. He's a uh, you know, pretty good guy and a uh, pretty good friend of mine. And I work with his wife. Anyway, so he does a lot of smoking on the grill and uh, does a lot of stuff. And I've learned a lot from him. And Keith, I really appreciate that because, you know, I'm still a newbie at uh, the pellet grill world. But anyway, so far, any, everything that um, I've cooked has turned out pretty well. And I'm, like I said, I'm just going to do some chicken breast. I did inject those with the Italian dressing and uh, they've been marinating overnight. And so we're going to have that. It's going to be a lot of chicken, but that's okay. All right. So basically, uh, that's it for right now. It's a pretty simple recipe, I think. And I've been kind of sitting on top of this for a little bit and just kind of thought, well, this would be really good for a cold day like this. Um, comfort food. And let me see if there's anything else I want to talk about. Um, I don't think so. Oh, the dogs are behind me. And Eddie is uh, trying to irritate Nelson, as always. He's always kind of biting at his neck, wanting him to play. Hey, 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 you guys. Cool it. Try to make a video here. How can I be professional with these dogs barking in the background? All right, everybody, I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to upload this as part one of the chicken and noodles in the crock pot, just like the sign says. And part two, we're going to get into it, have uh, carb overload, even though I shouldn't do it. I'm going to because it's cold outside and carbs is going to make me happy right now. All right, everybody, I'm going to say it. This is Ed. This is Let's Cook It, and it doesn't have to be pretty. It just has to taste good. Also, hit the like button, the notification bell, and subscribe if you haven't already done so. I really appreciate everybody, and we'll see you next time. Take care for now. Bye-bye.